Suicide Squad 2021 was amazing, epic, glorious, fantastical, gory, and a little sadistic. Well, kind of. Yo, this is Random Junk reporting in, and welcome to the best superhero movie in years, I'd say. Especially for a solo film that's not like a trilogy or 20 films into the, in the making. But even then, it's still very unique considering it's just one movie in a franchise, basically. Suicide Squad was my most anticipated movie of the year. Besides like Kong, Demon Slayer, and that's really just about it because there wasn't much coming out for months. And I'm just so glad that I was able to watch this in theaters because that's really the best way to experience it. But more on that later. I knew it was going to be great because it's James Gunn, right? But I didn't know I was going to love it this much. I was so hyped and man, it still delivered over my hype like BAM. It's crazy. I love the characters. All of them did incredible. Idris Elba, John Cena were a goddamn riot. Some of the best comedic banter I've seen, especially the best in any superhero film. In the melding of so many strange and bizarre situations, characters, scenarios was handled with such finesse. Seriously, I really love John Cena in here. He had some dramatic moments. His acting was superb. I am honestly surprised how great he did. This must be his greatest acting prowess displayed yet. Now, I have not seen many movies with John Cena, just a few, and not particularly uh, <laughs> F9, so... If anybody in the comments can let me know if this was better than that, I'm gonna assume it is because it had some dramatic moments, some emotional moments, and some really incredible moments with Peacemaker. If The Rock can be as good as he is, why can't John Cena? Starfish is a slang term for a butthole. Think there's any connection? No. No. Amanda Waller was also amazing. I am extremely glad she was kept from the first iteration of this movie. She is great, and I can only imagine her playing Amanda Waller. She straight up has some great, fantastic Waller moments. You're stretching in my door! Everyone stand down. Miss Waller, I don't- Stand down! Let's meet your team. As I mentioned earlier, Bloodsport, aka Idris Elba, ooh, perfect casting badass guy with such humanity charisma gravitas and it just makes me want him to play as a green lantern more than ever but i don't think it's ever gonna happen because obviously he's blood sport so hope is gone but man what a great actor and he's really the main star of this amongst the other stars in here lovable memorable hilarious blood sport and John Cena. Polka Dot Man, King Shark, amazing. Is that true as a crazy one? Oh yeah. King Shark specifically. I knew when the moment he was being portrayed by Sylvester Stallone, it was gonna be hilarious, but man, he's so adorable and menacing at the same time. Bird. <laughs> and? Yes, that is your hand. Very good. But I guess buff, muscular, manly men playing mascot characters should be a norm for James Gunn. And the voice is just so perfect. I haven't seen the animated Harley Quinn show on HBO, but man, after listening to this version, I <laughs> I want to imagine that version sounding like him, but I know he doesn't. He's played by a different actor, but still, King Shark has been getting a lot of love lately. Oh my god, it's Beyonce! Oh my god, it's Lady Gaga! Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn does it again for the third time, but this is her best performance and her best portrayal of Harley Quinn. The best written, too, and that helps a ton. I really appreciate that. Harley Quinn throughout the movie was a freaking riot, and she has an epic scene that is worthy of a Batman. If you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, well, Get to it and watch it and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Polka Dot Man is a total joke villain. Everybody knows that. Even Polka Dot Man himself knows that. And how do you turn that into a sympathetic badass? I don't know. You just did. Watch the movie and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm a superhero! Ratcatcher was surprisingly incredible too. Who would have thought that she would have been such an important character? But she was perfect. And I don't think anybody saw that coming. Just wow. Would be one. Blessed act of rebellion. Wow. 
Wow. I'm going to get you out of here alone. Wow. The first act was so damn good. Cuts to the action instantly, and it was weaved brilliantly with the pacing and comedy. It's just a master blend of writing and some flashbacks. This is the best movie a Suicide Squad movie could be, and I've seen the animated versions which are incredible too, from the DC animated universe. This movie, as great as it is, is not perfect. I did have some issues with it. I thought the middle act was kind of boring in moments and was a little longer than it needed. I think it have cut cut down maybe 10, min 10 to 15 minutes from it and uh, extended the end. And I think it would have been a better movie for it. I understand why the middle act was there, but some parts were just unnecessary. Also, some of the deaths were really wasted potential, but more on that later. And some of the characters who die make no sense of why they died, because they're supposed to be powerful as hell, and yet are not. And there was this one character that, to me, is the heart and soul of Suicide Squad. And this character was in the first iteration as well. In every media I usually see Suicide Squad, this character is in there. And the fact that it's used in the trailer a lot and is gone so quickly and unceremoniously, it sucked. It was emotional. No, it wasn't emotional. That's the thing. It was just kind of wasted, but it is what it is. And the movie gets surprisingly real at the end, like with some of the actions and writing taking place. Some black and white morality scenarios presented that I truly did not expect. I was I was surprised that we had that and it was done so poetically in the best way it could have been in a movie of this type. Obviously the film leans more in one way than the other and that's perfectly fine. But it was truly a hard decision to think about even if it's just for a moment. Not to mention the brutal gore depicted in that third act was really shocking. I mean, we've had gore throughout the movie, but mostly those were on bad people. And the villain was... Uh, if you've seen the trailers, you know who it is, but I'm not gonna say. Was surprisingly tragic. And there's one specific line that this villain gives that's truly kind of heartbreaking and good character development that you wouldn't expect from a villain like this. The effects, the writing, the acting, top notch, spot on. To be honest, being better than the previous iteration is not hard. I mean, compare that to this. There's no comparison. To this handsome honka honka. Honka honka. It's unfortunate that we'll never get the true version of the first Suicide Squad because of Warner Brothers meddling, but maybe one day. But for now, this is the best Suicide Squad I have ever seen, animated or not. That really couldn't have been as good as it was without the R rating. Had this been PG-13, it really would not have been much better than Guardians of the Galaxy, which was already pretty awesome. But the R rating really helped. It was essential for this movie to be R, and I'm so glad Warner Brothers let James Gunn do whatever the hell he wanted, because he certainly did. What a superb time, what a quality experience, what an unforgettable movie. I was so excited after watching it in theaters, I wanted to watch it again at home on HBO Max. And I can't wait to see it again. Hopefully, the Blu-ray version will have extended scenes because I would greatly appreciate that. I really do hope this movie does great and we get a sequel and we need a sequel and it has to have James Gunn. There's a spin-off series coming of a certain character and I'm really excited for that, directed by James Gunn. So what did you think of Suicide Squad? Did you like it? Did you not like it as much as the first? Obviously you liked it as better than the first one, come on. Honka, honka. But this was just perfect, just about perfect straight on out with minor, minor issues. I have to say, this is the best superhero movie I've seen. Best single superhero movie I've seen and the best, most unique one, period. So let me know, what did you think of the movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Feel free to comment down below and let me know. Talk to me and try not to spoil this for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. At least, you know, label spoilers on your comment if it mentions a spoiler. This is Random Junk, signing off. Oh my God, it's Beyonce! Wow.